We are talking to Ms. Shamshad Akhtar, Assistant Secretary General of DESA. Ms. Akhtar, what is the absolute priority for DESA today in regard to the Millennium Development Goals? Our first order of priority is uh, to ensure that we offer insights on the MDG uh, progress or the lack thereof um, in an effective manner um, and a candid manner for the high-level event. Given that DESA is involved in uh, policy um, formulation and norm setting, um, we are offering uh, deeper insights into how the MDGs have been implemented, uh, what are the challenges um, that MDGs implementation faced, uh, and making sure that drawing from those lessons, uh, we are offering insights on the post-2015 uh, development agenda. All MDGs will not be achieved by 2015. What prevented the goals to be achieved? I think first it's important to recognize that MDGs were a major development breakthrough. And the United Nations has done a very good job of carrying this mission uh, forward. As a result of this, we have been able to see reduction in global poverty. We have been able to see improvement in access to water and several other areas that have been quite good improvements. However, it has to be recognized that there are still large disparities in MDG's performance, both at the country and sector level. So going forward, we have been analyzing what have been the lessons learned through the implementation of MDGs. The first important element to recognize is that without appropriate political commitment, without effective country ownership, without effective governance and institutional mechanisms, and without supportive investments and assistance, it has been challenging to achieve the desired level of progress in MDGs. Unfortunately, during the pro implementation period of MDGs, we were also faced with unprecedented economic and financial crisis with distracted attention from long-term development agenda in interest of focusing on short-term economic recovery and stabilization. The post-2015 era demands a new vision of development. How do you see this emerging today? In formulating a new vision, we have to draw from the lessons learned in the design of the and implementation of the Millennium Development Goals agenda. We recognize from the work that has been conducted that Millennium Development Goals suffered from fragmentation and a siloed approach in implementation of Millennium Development. So going forward, the emerging new vision is going to be working on promoting sustainable development. The development has to recognize the critical interlinkages between economic, social inclusion, and environmental sustainability. The agenda has to be universal. It has to be applied both to develop and developing countries, and it has to leave no one behind. It has to be supported by significant national economic transformation and at the heart we have to promote economic and social inclusion. Since 2005, annually DESA has prepared MDG reports. What is the value of these reports? The tremendous value of these two reports. Um, uh, one is uh, it gives a, a proper assessment um, which is a very candid, independent, depoliticized uh, account of the progress or the lack thereof of the MDG goals. What it brings to the table is a comparability of the MDG uh, achievements so that you can basically assess how um, some countries have progressed more while others are lagging behind and what could be the reasons behind them. Thank you, Ms. Akhtar, for taking the time to speak with us. You're welcome.